Here I've got uh, a plant of uh, Tillandsia recurvata, commonly known as ball moss, in the southern United States and southern America, where it grows abundantly as a weed epiphyte in trees and on believe it or not, on telegraph wires. You can often see photographs of this plant festooning telegraph wires. Obviously, it's growing on fresh air. It gets all its nutrients from the air and um, it takes in water through the trichomes, which are the special uh, adapted leaf uh, organs on the leaves, which uh, absorb water and transport it to the interior of the leaf. I've had this plant about a year <clears throat> and it's in a Tillandsia growth ring and I bought a number of these uh, a few years back uh, for displaying Tillandsias but this is the only plant that I'm doing this with. Really the reason for that is that the plant has fallen apart as you can see if I take it out it's not a single plant but it's a number of them. Um, this plant was originally one, but it did fall apart. You can see it's pretty healthy. It's green, and I keep these plants green by soaking them for a few hours in water once a week. This is the biggest part of the plant that's left. Another one, still green, you can see, but no roots at all. This is the biggest one, the biggest part of it. And it's very green, as you can see, but there again, no roots. The smallest one is this one. Um, it's looking a bit sorry for itself, though it is green. It's got a number of brown leaves. Think I may be needing to soak this a bit longer than two hours to keep it in good condition. The reason I'm really talking about this plant today is because of its quite tremendous ANSI cancer properties and Henry Henry Lowe in Jamaica has been researching uh, chemicals from ball moss for a number of years and they found a very effective anti-cancer agent called HLBT100 which is active against a number of cancers. Um, I've been looking to find out how much work he's done on this plant in the, the last couple of years. Not much on it. Um, the last work that I can see of his on uh, Tillandsia recurvata was 2017. And since then, he's been working on other plants like Hectias, which are also bromeliads. But of course, plants hold the answer to many of our health problems if we were only to look at them more carefully and test them. And this one in particular is particularly useful because it grows in abundance everywhere uh, in the Western Hemisphere and it can easily be harvested. It can easily be grown because it's tough. Uh, so I think here's a plant which we could look at more carefully. And I'm just growing it as a decorative plant because I'm interested in it. But really, it could be grown in this country in glass houses. It could be extracted easily for some of the compounds that are in it. Um, but HLBT 100 is the only thing that I think they've really concentrated on for the moment. Um, so I've posted something about HLBT 100 and how it's been used against cancer cells um, in the notes uh, underneath this video. So I hope you find it interesting.